Hi there, Olivia here. In this video, I want to take you through some additions to the wall front arm exercise. The standard exercise explores this range of movement of the arm in the shoulder joint, which can target everything on the front surface of the arm, the front of the shoulder and into the chest. We would class this as a chest opening exercise. And a key aspect of any chest opening exercise is breathing. So keep that in mind as we go through the exercise. The additions pull on a strong fascial dimension around the rib cage and the abdomen and even down into the front of the hip here. So let's do it. The angle of the arm is important. 45 degrees in relation to the thoracic spine. If the hand is a little bit lower, you'll get a stretch, but not as good a stretch. So roughly just above head height. Lean into the wall. Your first goal is to try and get this shoulder as close to the wall as you can. And then I'm gonna walk both my feet quite a way away from the wall. And all of my weight is on the leg closest to the wall. Just to show you, this one's got no weight on it at all. And because I've got my feet away from the wall, I'm now really leaning quite a little bit more weight into that shoulder than I would if I had my feet closer to the wall. Breathing, every time you breathe in, you want to lift the chest as much as you can. Think about these uppermost ribs being lifted up towards the ceiling and being pushed forwards. Then we start to draw on the stretch by moving this other shoulder around. The inside hip here, the one closest to the wall, move it as far forward as you can, physically forward, and then try and drop it down a little bit. Imagine you're trying to get that hip as far away from the hand that's up on the wall as you possibly can. So the hip's going forward and down. Good. Then put this hand here and encourage this hip to move around even further, breathing all the while, breathing into the ribs here, breathing into the chest here. And then this spare arm, take it around in a big chest opening movement from the other arm's perspective. So the whole of the chest is getting opened out here. Breathe as deeply as you can into the chest, into the ribs, into the abdomen, on the side that's being stretched, which is my right side. The standard contraction would be the hand that's on the wall, lead with that hand as you try and pull that arm through the wall. So it's really targeting the front shoulder muscles and down into the chest muscles for that contraction. So let's do that for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly stop contracting, take a deep breath in, lift the chest move the ribs along the wall a little bit more these ribs here and re-stretch good the more i reach this left arm the non-stretching arm away from me as i go out the stronger the stretch becomes again different contraction now bring this hand back as a brace on the front of the hip joint and at the same time as you do the pulling the arm through the wall try and do a strong crunching movement so again, you're trying to shorten that whole line that you've opened out through the first stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, take a breath, lift the chest, move the ribs along the wall, pull the hip through, pull the hip back, reach out. Very, very strong stretch is being felt now, I can assure you. Breathe. All right, the hand that's on the wall there, just take it off the wall a tiny bit and add some little movements, little movements, internal, external rotation. And that's how I'm getting into the forearm muscles. If I want to wind that on even more, then I extend the wrist first and then add those movements. Breathe deeply. Good. If you want to, as a tactile cue, bring this hand onto some parts of the ribs and use that as a tactile cue to direct your breathing into those parts of the ribs. Okay, and then to come out, turn chest on, bring the arm down and shake it out. That's a strong stretch, give it a go.